Hello and welcome to the Chimera Systems module development videos. In this video, we'll be going over the Chimera Map Panel module. As with all of our modules, you can navigate to chimerasystems.com, check out the Products Ignition Modules page. Be sure to download the version that matches your Ignition Gateway. The Map Panel component can be found in the Components palette under the Display tab, and just like all the others, dragged onto the screen. Once you have the component on the screen, you can select it to see a number of properties in the bottom left corner. Name, visible, and border are exactly as you'd expect with all the components that you're used to already. Max tile cache size defines the number of tiles that will be stored in memory. The larger the number, the more memory it can take up, but the faster it will be to draw tiles. Max disk cache size is the number of tiles that will be stored to disk, either a hard disk drive or an SSD. Repull delay defines the number of milliseconds before trying to fetch a tile that failed to load again. A value of negative one indicates that there should be no repolling of failed tiles. The data shapes dataset defines shapes drawn onto your map panel. The data points dataset defines points drawn on your map panel. Maximum zoom level defines how far in you are able to zoom. The animated and bilinear filtering properties can be enabled to change how tiles are drawn onto the map panel component. The control panel visible property draws component on the screen that allows you to navigate with a single click of a button. North, east, south, west, zooming in and zooming out. If disabled, that component does not exist. The overlay panel visible draws an overlay with some very useful diagnostic information. Often helpful in getting yourself started, but often not needed after that. Debug property will draw lines surrounding any tiles that are drawn onto the screen or tiles that failed to draw. Helpful for debugging, but not helpful after that. To elaborate on the data shapes, data shapes data set requires the columns name, latitude, longitude, stroke color, fill color, opacity, draw mode, and label expression. If any of these columns do not exist, defaults will be used. Any additional columns will be added as additional properties. Similarly, data points require the columns name, latitude, longitude, label expression, icon expression, and hover expression. Note that these are not just strings, but they are strings that will be evaluated using the expression language. So if you would like the result to be a simple string, be sure to enclose it in the single quotations so that after evaluation, it's returned as a string. The map panel component can be extended through a series of scripting functions, a few of which we'll show here. In run mode, you can initialize the map panel, effectively clearing all tiles drawn on it. You can add a layer to the map panel. The layers drawn on the map panel can be provided by any OSM tile provider. We'll get into what the gateway layer is in a moment. By setting the latitude, longitude, and zoom level, it's easy to center your map or to have buttons that bring you to different locations. Alternatively, it's also very easy just to set the zoom without changing the location of the center of your map. You can add points and shapes by modifying the datasets directly or by using scripts to modify them. A script similar to this will add a map point. By clearing the data set, it's very easy to remove all map points or all map shapes. By iterating through each of the points and setting the set label visible property to one, labels of shapes and points can be added to your map. Now in these examples, layer one and layer two provided by Google and OpenStreetMaps, Every tile is being retrieved from memory cache, then being retrieved from the disk cache, and if it's not found in either of those, being retrieved over the internet. An alternative is to set up a gateway provider proxy. This gateway provider proxy is set up in your ignition gateway under the configure map panel tile provider proxy. When creating a tile provider proxy, give it a name, be sure to enable it, and provide the fully qualified path for the tile server. This is the exact format required for OpenStreetMaps. 
You do not have to follow the format for OpenStreetMap. You can follow the format for any OSM tile provider, for example, the map tile provider of google.com. But notice that the format is slightly different depending on the provider you use. As with all Chimera modules, from the configure modules page, you will be able to scroll down to the appropriate module and view the documentation. And it's important that you read through the module documentation in order to know what the module does and can do.